Madden 25 on an offense from a beginner standpoint. Now, last week we covered the defensive tip, and this week we're going to cover offense. And we're just going to cover all the hot routes you can do and all the motion and, and how to motion players and, and all that stuff. So, first thing we're going to look at is hot routes to the tight end. Um, how you activate hot routes is by hitting triangle on PS3 or Y on Xbox. And we're going to select Tony Gonzalez here. And if we want to put him on a ziggurat, we're going to flick the right analog stick to the right. Um, if we want to put him on a drag, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to flick the right analog stick down. If we want to put him on a fade, we're going to flick the right analog stick up. If we want to put him on a slant, we're going to flick that right analog stick to the left. And this is going to remain the same. This is going to apply to every receiver on the line. The only person that this does not apply to is the running back. His hot routes are different, and we're going to go over those in a second. The next thing that we can do with this tight end, and we can do this from every single player on this is all universal here. So if we wanted to hot route any of these guys to this, we can. But you can do the next thing is you could put your tight end on a streak by hitting up on the left directional pad. After you activate his hot routes, he's going to go on a streak. Put him on an out by hitting right on the left directional pad. He's going to run an out, an, an in route, left on the directional pad. And a curl route is down on the directional pad. You see that that's what it's going to look like. Now you can smart route those routes by hitting R1, which is also the same for all receivers. So what smart route means is it's going to go to the first down marker. In this instance, it's going to be 10 yards. So if you want to smart route an out route, you're going to put him on an out route first, and then you're going to hit him again and hit smart route that. Um, and if you want to put him on an in route, smart route that. Same concept, okay? Now, uh, the only thing that's different from a tight end than in all the other receivers is the next, uh, the next two hot routes we can do. We can place him on a flat route, so X, or triangle, X, and then L2. L2 is going to put him on a flat route, and you see that's what it's going to look like. He's just going to go to the flats. And if we want to block him to pick up pressure, triangle, X, and then hit R2, and he's going to block to pick up pressure. So that's how you can use the tight end uh, hot routes, and all of the left and right analog stick hot routes those all may remain the same for all the receivers now let's take a look at what specific routes we can put a slot receiver on a slot receiver can be placed on a flat route is just like the tight end so you see that this is what it looks like he's on the flat route Joneses so we hit triangle and then triangle to activate Joneses hot routes and L2 to put him on a flat and then the only other different hot route that we can do with him is instead of him blocking by hitting R2, we can now put him on a hitch route. So triangle, triangle to activate Jones and then hit R2. And you see he's going to be changed to a hitch route now, which is uh, a short, shorter curl. And you see it's just going to be a different, different, different type of route to use. Obviously, you could smart route that too. Um, you see now it's a, deep, a little deeper of a hitch route. Um, so there's that, and then there's um, a couple things uh, that we can do on the right, out on the outside receivers that we couldn't do from the slots. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the slot, uh, the outside receivers. So the only thing that changes on the outside receivers is is the L2 and R2 hot routes that we've never seen before in our in our arsenal, and now you see we have it, and this is what it looks like. It's a man beating route that typically will beat man coverage. Um, and then the other route we can use is a smoke screen. That's our R2 hot route. And you see that a smoke screen is, is just a, a stop at the line of scrimmage. And it's good for picking, uh, for beating zone blitzes and stuff like that. So that's why I like to use smoke screens. Okay, so that takes care of all the hot routes we can really do from our wide receivers. Now let's look at the running backs. What's different about the running back hot routes? All of the left analog stick hot routes are the same for the running backs. The only ones that are different are the L2 and R2 and the right stick. So if we hit R2, it's going to make the running back block. Remember, we activate it by hitting triangle to activate hot routes, R1 to activate the running back because that's what it says on the screen, and then we're going to hit R2 to block him. You see that this is going to help us pick up blitzes because we can block our tight end and our running back, and now there's no way they're going to be getting into us, and we have plenty of time to make a, a pass to the outside to Jones there. Okay, so that's how we block guys. Now let's take a look at how we... Um, put our running back on an option route. So triangle R1, L2, he's going to be on an option route. This means that if it's man coverage, he usually will turn it into an out route. And if it's zone coverage, he'll usually hold on that hook route. It's a new route that we've never seen in our hot routes before. All right, the next thing we can do with our running back is put him on a wheel route. R1, flick the right analog stick up. You see it's going to put him on a wheel route now to the left side of the screen. 
Now, this is going to dictate based off of his position. So, if I motion him to the right, it's going to change once he crosses the line. And now it's going to go to the right side. If he's in a single back set, what dictates it is the strong side of the field. He's always going to run a wheel route to the wide side of the field. Okay? Alright, and then the next thing we can do is put him on a block and release pattern. Triangle R1. We're going to flick that right analog stick down. And it's a block and release pattern. Also called a blue route. So he's going to sit in the block for a little bit. And then he's going to release into the flats. Which we can pick up blitzes and maybe beat man coverage from that. Then what we can do is we can put him on a swing route right or swing route left. So triangle R1. Swing route to the right. We're going to flick the right analog stick to the right. And for a swing route to the left, we're going to flick that right analog stick to the left. Alright? Now, how do you... So that takes care of the hot routes. Let's take a look at motioning players. How you motion players is you hit B on Xbox 360 or circle on PlayStation 3 and cycle through. So here it, it allows us to motion Douglas. We can motion him right. Rogers, we can motion him left or right. Jones, we can motion him left or right. White, we can motion him left. And Gonzalez, we can motion left or right. How do you activate motion? Well, you just flick left the left analog stick to the direction you want to motion. So if I want to motion him to the left, I'm going to flick the left analog stick to the left, and you see Gonzalez is going to come across to the uh, left side of the screen. If I want to motion him to the right, I'm going to flick that. I'm going to uh, circle, cycle through my guys by hitting B or circle on PS3. Once I get to the guy I want to motion, I'm going to flick that left analog stick to the right, and now he's going to motion across. If they can't be motioned to the left, so here I'm going to try motion Douglas to the left. You see he's not going to move. But now if I try to motion Jones to the left, you see that he's going to um, he's going to motion across. So that's how we like to use motion. Sometimes they won't be able to always be motion every which way, but motion is very effective. Uh, real quick, for some of you guys who are really, really new at the game, you snap the ball by hitting X or A on Xbox 360. And then one other thing I want to cover is audibling. How do you audible? You hit square or X on Xbox 360. It's going to bring up this audible menu. Now you can hit R3 to close it um, if you don't want to audible, or you can audible through. And you could just pick a play. Uh, if you wanted to audible to PA Dagger without them telling, without them seeing, you can hit X and R or A. Excuse me. You could hit Square R1, and now you see I audibled my play. Or you could even hit Square um, down or uh, on down to the left stick on the right analog stick. Um, which just flick the right analog stick to the left, so uh, square to activate audibles, flick the right analog stick, and now I'm audible to my PA play. You don't have to do that. That's a little advanced uh, stuff that we like to do. We've come accustomed to that over years of playing the game. To cycle through formations, you're going to left directional pad. You, can, you can't cycle through using the left analog stick. Here I'm using the left analog stick, and it's not letting me move. I have to use the directional pad to cycle through my formations. So you see here I can cycle through whatever formation I want. I find that I, I think that this is going to be a good play. I make my adjustments and then I hit X to snap the ball and, and I pass to the target based on the icon on the receiver. Alright, and then um, one other thing I wanted to touch on is slide protection. How do you slide protect? Um, oh, real quick, fake hike is R1 or RB on Xbox 360. R2 shows your play, and you can bluff it by flicking the right analog stick every which way, or you can show your actual play by flicking the right analog stick up. So that's just a quick tip. And then L2 doesn't do anything. Um, like I said, circle uh, cycles through your motion. Triangle activates your hot routes. Square activates your audibles. Um, and then the left directional, or L L1 or LB on Xbox 360, it's going to activate slide protection, and you can do a couple of different ways. To, uh, to use it, you flick your right analog stick. So what we also use to put drags and fades, we're going to use for slide protection. So if we wanted the slide protect to slide protect to pinch, um, we're going to hit L1, and we're going to flick the right analog stick down. You see they're going to pinch in here. If we want to slide protect aggressive, we're going to hit L1, and we're going to flick that right analog stick up, and they're going to slide protect aggressive. And then now if we want to slide protect to the right, we're going to hit L1, we're going to flick the right analog stick to the right, and you see they're going to shift to the right at the snap of the ball. And then lastly, if we want to slide to the left, we're going to hit L1, flick that right analog stick to the left, and now they're going to slide to the left. This is good for picking up pressure. If they're sending pressure off the left, try slide protecting to the left. If they're sending pressure off the right, try slide protecting off the right. If they're sending pressure up the A-gap, try slide protecting to pinch. And if they're not sending pressure, try slide protecting aggressive. Always try to slide protect, though. I really like slide protection this year. All right, and then if you want to reset, so say you slide them to the right, but you didn't want to, you're just going to hit L1, and then you're going to hit L2, and it's going to reset it, okay? So that's the basics of hot routing and stuff like that. 
uh, the basic beginner tips uh, for offense. This is episode two of beginner tips, and hope you guys are going to be able to use this series to make you better. Uh, we got a, a lot of good stuff from this. This is going to turn you from a beginner to a contender in Man 25. Be sure to check out the rest of the content, but for right now, these are the basics. Get used to the controls, how to use them, master your hot routes, master your setups, and you'll be moving the ball like a pro in no time. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to ask any questions you need in the comments below. And if you're new to the YouTube channel, be sure to check out some of the earlier videos and subscribe if you want more free Madden 25 content. Thank you so much for checking out my video today, and have a great day.